Okay, so how this is going to work is I'll just do a quick little intro, um, tell you what the course kind of looks like, the framework of it, and then we'll go through the outline so you know what kind of information is involved in it, and then we'll do a little bit of Q&A at the end um, to see if we uh, answered all your questions or if you have any other questions. All right. So um, my name is Patricia. Um, I'm here with Kaylin, and we are the co-creators of Yoga Athletics and Yaks Online, and we spent the past several years creating this um, Yoga for Athletes coaching course. And who this is going to serve is coaches of any team sport um, or any individual sport. Um, it'll also serve athletes themselves if they're looking to just put some more tools in their toolkit for their own performance. Um, and then it'll also serve yoga instructors um, if they work with athletes or want to work with athletes um, and just want to learn more about that process and how to program appropriately for their athletes. Um, and so the, the program itself is a 60 page handbook. So if you sign up for the course, you get a 60 page handbook of all of the information. It's just all the literature that goes along with it. I um, mean, all the research that I did that or that we did that's included in that handbook. And then in addition to the 60 page handbook, you get a um, you get five hours of video content. So they'll include lectures that are recorded um, that kind of guide you through the handbook um, and they give you some hands on videos to do some certain practices yourself in case you're a kinesthetic learner um, and learn that way. Um, and then you also will have actual classes included within the course. So as we go through the formatting and our programming, we plug in some classes so that you can gain a better understanding of the type of yoga or the type of stretching we're talking about and when it's appropriate during that part of your periodization schedule. Um, and also you get some movement for yourself so you're not just sitting in front of a computer for five hours. And we kind of encourage you to not do this all in one five hour setting, even though you can. Um, but it it would be nice to kind of spread it out over a few days. I mean, you do this at your own pace, um, but it would be nice to spread it out over a few days so you're not doing three yoga classes back to back to back. Um, so that's kind of how we um, encourage you to approach it. Just kind of at your own pace, um, really just take some time to digest the information um, instead of just knocking it all out in one day. Um, now I'm going to go through the actual outline of the class, um, or of the course. So, um, we start with just talking about, um, the benefits for athletes and, you know, you can, you can kind of think, well, I already know the benefits of yoga for athletes. Um, and you may, and that may be true, but we're going to really dive into why that's important when you're not only coaching the athletes, you are the athlete or you're talking to an athlete. So really understanding how um, the benefits relate to your sport or to your everyday fitness program. Um, and then we go into how to, how and when to incorporate yoga into your training regimen. So we talk a lot about a couple of models um, that kind of guide you on the pace of the classes and when to incorporate them and like at what stages you need them based off your age, your chronological age and your athletic age. Um, so we use the long-term athletic development model, um, which basically tells you this is the type of physical activity you should be doing at this age and stage. And then this is what that physical activity looks like. For instance, if you're a high school athlete versus a collegiate athlete versus a professional athlete versus a long-term athlete we call is a retired athlete or an adult or someone who's really just wanting to um, keep their fitness up and just stay healthy. Um, that's included in there as well. And then we also use the optimal performance training model, which we've taken from the National Academy of Sport Medicine. And that model just kind of breaks down the stages of performance. So um, there are stages that start with stabilization, endurance, moving to muscular strength, hypertrophy, and then all the way to power, um, for example, just briefly. Um, and so we kind of teach you what you should be doing in the gym or what your strengthening, strength and conditioning program might look like. 
and how that relates to the yoga mat. So you really can't start to program recovery unless you truly understand um, what athletes are doing in the gym or um, or what they should be doing in the gym. And so those two models kind of give you an overview of, okay, I'm this age, I'm at this stage of my athletic career. Um, this is what I'm doing in the gym for my fitness and my strength. And then after that, we'll move into how to plug in the yoga and the recovery into those sections, if that makes sense. Um, then we'll move into the science of stretching, which is um, my favorite part of the program. Um, this is the beef of it. And this is where I really nerd out about the biomechanics behind stretching, um, really give you kind of anatomy overview and really dive into the kinesiology um, base <laughs> of programming. So we'll go over things like the behavioral properties of muscles, soft tissue biomechanics, the stretch reflex. Um, and then we really start to introduce the integrated flexibility continuum and show you how to plug that into your periodization schedule. So, um, you know, you think of a yoga class or a yoga instructor and you've got, you know, several different styles of yoga, but what seems to be lacking in the yoga industry is this flexibility continuum that outlines that there are three different types of flexibility. And then within those three types of flexibility are four types of stretching. And those types of stretching is you'll find in different types of yoga. And so learning this flexibility continuum will really help you start to either pick yoga classes to do or program your own yoga classes based off the type of stretching um, you're looking for. And this continuum will also teach you what type of stretching is appropriate when. So we're using that LTAD model, we're using the OPT model and using the sport or the athlete's periodization schedule, whether they're in preseason, in season, postseason, or off season, and then plugging in these flexibility protocols. So you know they're doing the proper stretching during the right time of their periodization schedule. And then from there, we move on to training and movement patterns where we talk a lot about functional movement screening. And this part is really cool because you can not only assess yourself as an athlete, but also assess, help assess your teammates or your coach or coaches can assess their athletes um, just by walking into the room and taking them through a few basic body weight movements. Um, so you don't really need any tools for these. We just kind of go through some different movements that relate to everything that you do on the court or the mat or the field. Um, and you can kind of see where your imbalances lie, like where I might have an injury down the road or where I incurred an injury before I'll be able to see in these assessments. And then we can use those assessments to start incorporating corrective exercise, which looks a lot like yoga. And you'll learn that in that flexibility continuum. Okay. I have these types of stretches, um, corrective being one of them. And so if I see an athlete or I am an athlete with this mobility limitation, I know that I have this bank of, uh, yoga poses that I can just plug into my training regimen, depending on where I am in my season. So that's why those assessments can be really helpful. During the training and movement patterns, we'll also talk about common injuries, um, which is really cool for a coach um, because you know you can't really work one on one with an athlete if you have if you're always in a team setting, um, and so we kind of give you some tools that relate to athletes um, in groups. So let's say you're a volleyball coach and you work with middles one day. Well, likely they're going to incur similar injuries because they're doing the same repetitive movement um and and same with like a pitcher for baseball so if you are a pitcher if you're working with pitchers they'll generally have similar injuries and so with these assessments we can kind of pick out corrective exercises that are likely going to help this whole subgroup of people on your team um, and so you're quickly able to add these into your classes or add these into your recovery sessions. Um, and it's going to benefit more than just a one-on-one -on -one situation. 
And, after, and at the end of all of these little modules, we have quizzes. So you'll get to be involved and kind of test your knowledge to make sure that you're grasping it and understanding it and, and digesting it correctly, um, which is fun because at the end of the day, we want this course to um, be very accessible and applicable to what you do. So we want you to learn all of the science behind it and really be able to program and apply it immediately with yourself as an athlete um, or to your team if you're a coach or to your yoga class if you're a yoga instructor. And then from there, we really move into the more mental part of the course. So we'll cover meditation and visualization. And more specifically, again, how that applies to the periodization schedule. So what should an athlete be working on in the postseason, for instance? So they're likely exhausted. They're at the height of their competition. So maybe a little mental resilience would um, be helpful to help them stick it out. So we kind of go over a specific type of visualization practices and meditations that are appropriate um, for where the athlete is during their uh, career. And then we move on to breath work, which is really um, Kaylin's baby. She um, has a lot of the certifications that are necessary for teaching this, these breathwork protocols that we go through. Um, we'll outline the benefits. Um, we'll take tests to test our oxygen efficiency um, and also give you the tools to test your own athletes um, or your own class to do these breathwork protocols. Um, and then from those tests, you can kind of understand what breathwork exercises are appropriate um, for your level of your score, basically. Um, and then we'll kind of tie it all up together, package it all up nicely with a bow and go into programming. So you have all this information, you've learned about performance training and what athletes are doing in the gym. You've learned about their stages of development, what they should be doing, whether they're in high school or they're um, a retired athlete. And then you've learned about the flexibility continuum, which again is a really big piece of this. Um, and then that way you can build your own framework for doing recovery um, and understand more like the types of yoga and how that lines, lines up with periodization. Um, we'll do a little bit more of um, SMR and go over some more sports specific postures so that you really have all the tools that we think you need in order to build your own little recovery um, sequences um, or maybe even full classes. And <clears throat> if that's still too much, just really kind of understanding, you will, will at the very least have an understanding of what classes you're looking for. So if you're an athlete and you're like, okay, I don't really want to program all of this, um, you will at least have the understanding of what type of stretching you should be doing, what type of yoga you should be doing, and definitely be able to just kind of search that on Yaks Online if you're a member of Yaks Online. Um, you can use the filters and kind of really just dive into exactly the type of class you're looking for and just hit play. Um, so that's kind of the framework of the whole course. Kaylin, feel free to jump in if you think I've missed anything. Yeah, um, I, you didn't miss anything, but I was just going to um, show you guys what the course looks like online and how you can sign up. And we're offering a 50% um, off discount code for joining in on this webinar. Um, so it's valid for 24 hours. And, um, but I'll just um, show you guys here. So I'm gonna screen share um, what Yaks Online looks at, like. And this is where you would be um, doing the course from. So when you type in Yaks Online in your browser, um, it'll take you to our homepage. You'll go to um, videos. And then um, you can filter here. So like um, you might know, we have a lot of yoga classes, breathwork classes, meditation classes already um, filtered by sport here. Um, but for under programs is where this course is. And so we have our yoga coaching course here. And this is all the information um, that you would need to sign up and you get it for an entire year. Um, and 
down here is kind of the overview that Patricia went through with you guys. So introduction, and it tells you here um, how many videos are within each um, section and how much time each video takes. So that's pretty nice. So you can have that ahead of time before you get started. Um, and this, like she said, she went over the science of stretching, the training and movement patterns, the meditation and vi visualization. Um, here's the breathwork portion. Um, and then all the programming videos. Um, and that's next step. So this is the entire course on Yaks Online. So you just watch video by video. Um, and when you go to here to sign up, we put rent because you get access for a year. You'll create your account here and you get access for an entire year to watch those five hours and you get that 60 page handbook, um, which is pretty great. So Patricia. Um, yeah, just one little extra piece I wanted to add so we're clear. The handbook and the videos are just kind of, they kind of live together. So you'll have your handbook in front of you um, and within the, you're just playing the videos and within those videos, we kind of refer to the handbook, handbook. So I might say, all right, pause, read this section and then come back to the video. So you're kind of doing a little bit of self-study and the videos just kind of really break it down and simplify it and just kind of, I guess, elaborate off what's in the handbook so we have a better understanding of it. And then, like I said, a lot of movement practices will be in the video so you can apply it kinesthetically. But yeah, that's it. And um, if y'all have any questions, I'd love to do a little Q&A with you guys. Um, I'll hand it over to you. Um, I think I missed this part. What did you mean by periodization again? Sure, that's a great question. So in sport, um, and this this applies if you're not like a team sport player anymore um, or you're a coach or like a lifetime athlete, retired athlete, um, it could apply to whatever you're training for, even that if it's just solely fitness or if you're running a marathon. Um, periodization is where you are in your training regimen. So generally for most athletes, it's a four season period periodization to cover the whole year. So within your year of sport, you have preseason, then you move into in season, and then off postseason, and then off season. So it's just kind of it will outline like what you're what you need to be doing during those times is totally different. So you know, Sonia, as you're preparing for season, you are doing testing, you're working very hard in the gym. Um, you're getting your anaerobic uh, capacity elevated. You're just, you're working your butt off. And so what you're doing on the yoga mat um, is really important that we don't undermine that work, right? We don't want to do something that's going to damage us for season. And then when you're in season, um, you really just want to maintain all of the fitness benefits you gained in preseason, right? You just want to keep steady. You want to keep a flexibility protocol, but you don't want to overstretch. You want to stay strong, but you don't want to exhaust yourself. And then when you move into postseason, you're just at the height of your competition. You're maybe going to nationals or you're running your race or whatever it is that you're training for. Um, and in that case, we really want to dial down the yoga and maybe we need to ramp up the visualization and meditation right? Because we're physically exhausted and we need to mentally stay strong and work on our oxygen efficiency at that time. And then in the off season, if you're healthy, anything goes. And if you maybe incurred injury because you worked so hard, maybe your focus is on um, self-myofascial release, SMR, or corrective exercise. So that's kind of a brief overview of what a periodization schedule is. Good question. I see a lot of questions in the chat. Oh, Kaylin, you've got it. Yeah, Tay just asked, um, how long will the videos be available? And it's for, you get a solid year um, to watch the videos. Um, and then the, he asked how much it costs. And it's um, initially $199 um, at full price, but you guys get 50% off for joining the webinar. Hi, Rajamani, if you wanna, um, Unmute yourself. You're welcome to ask some questions. We would love to chat with you. 
okay so when we so this if when you pay this 99 dollars then i choose which sport it is and i get the corresponding uh, yoga sessions and corresponding visualization sessions right um yes yeah, so this is a yoga coaching course and so this will be for all sports okay um and so the the course itself for the 99 you're going to be getting um education on how to um administer yoga and what's appropriate for sport um but if you wanted to have access to different vis visualization and meditation and breathwork videos that would be included in um, our online portal. It's $29 a month and you get access to live um, on-demand classes that you can just play videos. So it just depends on if you're wanting to educate yourself or if you're wanting to um, uh, watch the videos. Mm, I wanted to educate so that I can okay. help my athlete, right? Like yeah. I, I can't, uh, you know, trust him like, you know, to pay 29 and use it properly. <laughs> okay <laughs> totally uh, understand so that, that that's my problem like you know i liked what you guys were doing uh, i got okay. introduced through ncsa uh okay. from the beginning in, in in fact like i think i in the beginning i got a uh, uh, subscription but then okay. like with him like you know it's going to be with with all his training the timing like you know he's not going to exactly use it but i'm a yoga practitioner and earlier i have done like 200 hours of uh, uh, learning right so yeah. but sports specific if i know it then probably like you know when he has aches and things like that i thought like i can sit with him and particularly i'm looking for visualization will it help me to coach him for the visualization what kind of visualization to tell and things like that uh, will this course help me in doing that absolutely i can let patricia chat on that a little bit um yes so th there is a lot of information a lot of educational content in this course um visualization is just a small part of it but we do give you quite a few visualization techniques and body scans and meditations that I think you should easily be able to help um, any athlete with. Um, I mean, we give you the whole program. We give you the whole visualization. So, and we give you several, I believe. So yeah, yeah we'll definitely you can easily apply it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we hope you join us and um, always let us know if you have any questions. Well, good. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if something comes up in the next 24 hours or something, please don't hesitate to email us or call us. Um, we're here to answer your questions. Um, but otherwise, hope you enjoy the course um, or enjoy Yaks Online.